<sighs> Slim Team Squad. It's your boy Lash. You see me? I'm over here with the Jail Housewife Beater. Let me tell y'all something, man. This is a video about nothing. It's time for a new fuck computer, dog. Look. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Bro. I shot this video about two hours ago, bro. And now I'm waiting for this shit to fucking render out. You know what? We gonna turn up. Fuck it. We gonna make it. We gonna make something good out of a bad situation. So we gonna have a low-key vlog today. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Currently being fat. Cook some goddamn fries and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got the grease going. Go ahead and pour some of this shit in. Oh shit. Oh. oh shit. Oh. Motherfucker. Goddamn grease fucking me up, bro. We gonna let that chip. Squad. Now I know if I put in the title what this video is actually about, then y'all niggas is gonna click the shit and you gonna miss the important message that I'm trying to bestow upon you. Yeah, I said bestow, nigga. You feel me? Now, I be on the internet and I be seeing like all these videos of motherfuckers in high school and shit. You know, they in relationships and they in love and niggas doing all types of extra shit. For they girls and shit for prom to ask motherfuckers to go to prom with them and all that. Let me tell you something, bro. If you're in high school and you got a girlfriend, bro. When y'all go to college, shit gonna get real for you. Now, I don't know if you think... Listen, first of all. Fuck all that. Shit is not a fairy tale, bro. They lied to you. All that story about Cinderella and, and the glass slippers, slippers and all that extra shit, nigga. They lied to you, bro. It's not a fairy tale, bro. After you and your girl graduate high school, shit is going to get real for you. Because I'm going to keep it a thousand, bro. When you go to college, you and your girlfriend is not going to last, bro. If y'all last, y'all going to go through some hard times. Some hard times. Because one, you coming in from high school going into college, she going to start seeing new people. She going to start wondering what it's like to be with new people. And, and that's life. That's life. But let me, I'm going to explain to you what... Your first year to your last year in college, if you and your girl coming in from high school, okay? Bear with me. So now, let's say y'all been together or whatever. She go to a different school in a different state from you. Now, y'all trying to make the long distance shit work. It's cool. Everybody going to try to make the long distance shit work because... That's your baby, right? She might have took your virginity. You might have took her virginity. You know, this is real life. Now, that first week, first month, y'all going to be talking. You know, oh, I miss you. Y'all going to be having phone sex and shit like that. I mean, it's 2017, so now y'all can FaceTime and shit like that. You feel me? So, it's everything going to be cool. But now, this way things get a little crazy. Now, she got new friends and shit. It's a whole bunch of niggas around. It's freedom. You get what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Hold on. The fries. The fries. Hold on. The fries. All right. Now, I know a lot of y'all going to say, oh, my girl not going to do me that. You know what I'm saying? My girl. <clears throat> me and my girl love each other. But really, bro, you in high school, bro. Like. That niggas don't know what love is, man. That's real talk. Like, when I was in high school and motherfuckers used to tell me, oh, you in puppy love and shit like that, I used to be like, what? Nah, I love my girl. Huh? Nah, bro. I don't even know what love is. Ah, right, so anyway. So you go to college. Your first year, if you make it through your first year, that means you have a good girl. I'm going to put it this way. That means you have a good girl. Because when I went to school, when I was in college, my first year, bro, it was chicks that had boyfriends and shit. 
sucking niggas off on the first night. I'm talking about we had orientation the next day, everybody getting together and talking and shit like that. Girl just got off the phone with her boyfriend. Sucking niggas off. Now I ain't saying that's gonna happen to you. You know, but you should know what type of girl you have. Is your girl a freak? If your girl's a freak, then it might happen to you. Now, <clears throat> I want you to think about it, though. Don't get mad and be like, oh, how she gonna do me like this? How she gonna do me like that? Bro, when you was in high school, and let's say you and your girl was having sex in high school, right? Y'all had to sneak around and make a schedule so you can get some pussy. Oh, yo, I got the free crib. Come through. Yo, my cousin got the free crib. Take the bus to such and such. I mean, it's 2017. Yo, take the Uber to this address right here and meet me or whatever. My cousin got the free crib for like 30 minutes. So you in there, you banging your girl out for like 10 minutes, then you running out. You running out the crib before your aunt can get to the to the house, right? Now I want you to think about it. Y'all about to go to college. It's not about no homo. It's nothing but wild free dicks running around that your girl could choose from. And she could fuck anytime she pretty much want because she in a dorm. With other motherfuckers, her same age, it's not going to judge her. It's not going to say nothing. And the only thing keeping her from letting loose and going out there and catching some dick is you and her loyalty to you. And you in another state or you in another school. Bro, you think, what you think going to happen, bro? All, all you're, all you're going to be doing is reminding her of when she lived in the house with her parents. That's all your relationship is going to do, bro. And you can't get mad at that. It's part of living, bro. So, what I'm trying to say. I ain't no hater. Young love is cool. But, <clears throat> all you motherfuckers going hard in high school for girls and even girls going hard in high school for dudes and shit like that. Bro, when y'all get older, y'all not going to care about them niggas like that. I mean, there's a chance you could because me and my girl been together since high school. And what I'm saying and what I'm talking, I'm talking from experience, bro. We broke up for a long ass time because <laughs> she wanted to fucking see what's going on. Do I not? Cause no. Because... Her doing that gave me a chance to be a thought. So I ain't mad. I ain't mad at all. I was upset. You know, and ain't nothing worse than thinking about somebody else fucking your girl, nigga. That's about the worst thing you think about. Because really, when you and your girl break up, you don't really miss her for her. You know, you ain't really calling her because you miss her. You calling her because you trying to cock block. You figure if you can keep her on the phone for a long ass time, she ain't going to have no time to speak to that other nigga. But that other nigga there, bro. Because while she talking on the phone with you, she texting that other nigga. Keeping 1,000. So my whole message to y'all young boys is, man, keep your head up, bro. It's a whole nother world out there after high school. And I want you to know that even if your girl break your heart when you go to college after high school, it's not her fault. It's part of growing up. It's her experience in the world. That's that. Now I hope that helped y'all out. And I hope y'all show me love when I start uploading these reaction videos. You know. And if y'all want some more advice and some shit, like how to make these banging ass fries, you fucking fries good as hell, my nigga. Let me know. Hit me in the comment section and let me know. Squad. Oh, share this video, bro. It's a lot of young niggas that need to see this video. Share this video. God damn, boy. Get some juice or something. Squad. No set. Fuck that best nigga ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese, real niggas only get down for the bread. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah.
Call it plug, cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.